Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsu C and welcome back to Factorio in our base where we try to scale up our production for more science packs. Last time we ended kind of on a cliffhanger because for some reason our delivery of light oil did not work. And I have figured out what the reason was. We had this station on a limit of 15k. And we also had this pump on a limit of 50k. So what happened was the station saw we have enough oil in here, enabled it. But then the pump kicked in and basically that disabled the, the station uh, right again and now we have set this pump to 20k so only if we really have enough in this tank uh, we convert the surplus into petroleum gas and with that we see that we are producing once more uh, rocket uh, fuel so we can have more rockets going to the sky um, and we should also soon see uh, some trains for sulfuric acid maybe let's send a few more on the way um, and now I think we just have to wait and see where we have to scale or where we have a bottleneck in, in our production. Because looking at where we stand um, over the last hour, uh, 16 space suns per minute, that's not much. Um, I think we reached up to uh, 250 with with yellow and uh, and purple suns, so that's basically something we want to to achieve on a sustainable level. Uh, here it looks like uh, we might. Of uh, a like of low density structures on here. Here it's uh, the blue circuits, probably due to uh, sulfuric acid. And here it's plastic. But we are pumping this out, so probably. We had a shortage of petroleum beforehand and that got uh, the, the whole production down. Here purple of course no production because everything is uh, crammed full. So we actually need uh, to do some research in order um, to consume more science and then we can see uh, where we are actually lacking things. We are researching again and if we look most of the labs are actually researching occasionally we do have missing uh, science packs um, but with the, the research we are currently in the research takes about 60 seconds for uh, one thing to consume and i think that will be the same for for all infinity researches only the number of science packs that we need goes up so one thing that we can look at is actually how much uh, science packs are 
we using here on the research set and that's around 220 to 10 um, per minute so with this lab set up we should then also be able to produce the, the same amount of uh, science packs per minute if we want to keep up uh, with with the need that we have on the other other side so let's select all the the science pack that we have here um, let's do that for the last hour so and let's take it from the bottom we do not have all of them because uh, I think green red and purple uh, we have filled up the storage that's why we did not produce anything in the last hour but looking here um, military science is lacking we only have R at uh, 32 okay we had basically nothing let's have a look the, in the last minute I mean here for chemical science we are at 60 that's one per second and we should have about four times that amount uh, then here military science we are at 100 110 we need double the amount and even for the for the yellow signs we need more and yellow signs we did already quite a bit with uh, vertical scaling modules and so on uh, but we did not do that uh, for any of the other signs we only did it for purple and uh, yellow science so I think what we should do here now that we see okay military science is lacking chemical science is lacking let's see what we can do here um, for the uh, to pimp up the, uh, the, 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 the speed and the output and I'm thinking uh, we will slap in here productivity we do that for all the uh, for all the for all the factories or for the assembles that produce um, that produce science packs right and then let's have a bit of this here some some uh, beacons so we can then have sped this up again so now we are at 90 percent plus crafting speed uh, plus 40 percent production that should already have an effect and then I think we can upgrade all these and <coughs> then we probably have to to see that uh, here on the on the furnace side um, we can also smelt this faster and here um, we cannot insert any uh, productivity so we will have to do with um, with speed modules but we can see here um, we're not even delivering the coal for all the assemblers so uh, let's speed this this up here maybe even one more 
and that means I have to grab myself a bit of the blue things. A few blue belts. Um, let's pack a few more red ones in there. Um, Let's have this here. So we have the possibility to craft ourselves some uh, Then I think here we will insert those manually. We will put this out manually as well, because that way we can then basically control how much um, we are producing by. Uh, limiting what we what we have in here so let me see what i can do here uh, for our military science factory and then we will see uh, how we can pimp chemical science with a few simple tricks we could uh, severely increase the output we have here for military science. I did have to rework here the smelting of our stone bricks a bit so we could get more stone bricks out of it uh, because if we look closely here uh, the, the, the stone bricks that's basically something that does not reach the end here entirely but if we look at where we sit with the with our production we are at 360 so that's way above the amount of um, science packs that we currently are using in our lab eventually we probably also have to think about how to uh, consume more, um, have faster research, more labs, uh, whatever. Um, but let's first make sure that our production of science packs can keep up with the demand that we have um, under the research side. Here is green and maybe I think in the meantime, yeah, we see uh, we are also producing red ones. Red ones, similar um, magnitude as the military science, so no need to upgrade there yet. Uh, then green, we are not there quite there yet with the, with the green one. Green is, I would say, in a similar ballpark as the, as the yellow one. Um, was 100, 150. Um, so there we need to do something, but I think we should turn our attention to chemical science because that's currently the lowest one. And I think here we can apply the, the same mechanism like we did for uh, the military science, just upgrading the assembly lines um, beacon out the hell of our smelting arrays and see where that gets us i think this here is the best we can do it's a combination of the classical setup 
with uh, productivity, uh, beaconed up for furnaces and production, and where we have the, the, the space to do that setup. And then uh, just to fill in the gaps, sometimes just uh, uh, speed modules, other times a combination, uh, or here to ensure that we get enough plastic productivity and the speed from the beacon. And one tricky part here is to actually get enough uh, copper wires through here. Uh, so that's why we have a bit of productivity here on the uh, uh, green circuit production. We would not have needed any modules in here. We produced enough, but with the productivity, we can save that tiny bit of copper wire. So we have enough here um, uh, for the for the red circuits as well, and we still get uh, enough green circuits with the counterbalancing of uh, speed modules. And then, of course. Uh, fastest belt that we have for the copper wire and uh, needed to increase the in and output here and as we can see all the input belts are full all the assemblers are running as good as they can and if we look at how many we are producing we are at 250 so at around about the number that we can also consume uh, when when doing the research. So next one is the green science, um, which now we are producing again, but apparently just not in large enough numbers and here I'm thinking maybe it's it's sufficient to upgrade all these assemblers to the to the green ones and of course here on on this side um, we then want to have the, the productivity um, we have an issue here uh, with, with that belt, but let's figure that out in a bit. Um, let's do this. How about we move this that way and then have red belt there. Put that down to here. Ah, one more. That should do it. It's a bit a uh, different setup than we usually have, but it gives us the space here for speed beacons on the outside. And productivity on the inside. So by the looks of it, it's the inserters that we are lacking because we are lacking on green circuits um, and there we are lacking because of not enough iron. So once again we will do our old trick here, upgrading this belt, upgrading the other belt, come on, C 
because we need that speed. And then we can have beacons and yeah, as expected, I run out. But we also need power going through here. should leave us a bit more uh, uh, iron for the production there. We still don't have enough. So what we can then do is have this old setup where we have one speed modules combined with productivity modules. And then we should almost be there. We have enough iron. Here on this one, we are constantly producing. There, we are producing a bit, not enough. And maybe we can we can have beacon here, beacon there. We can have cannot have uh, productivity in here, but we could add speed. But then we also have to ensure that we get enough uh, input material. And we have most of our assembly lines uh, going. Um, if we look at the production, we are at uh, uh, 3.30. So that's more than we can uh, use in in our research so here I I think I will I will just have to to add the, the missing modules and if we look at uh, our production um, that's the, the space signs um, for green we are good, for blue we are good, we are barely good. Um, we need more yellow and I would assume uh, we are good for, um, um, for red. And if we look at the space science, yeah. Here we also need more, uh, that's a hundred per, per minute. So we will have to look into that in the next episode. So hope you enjoyed this one where we had a look at uh, how much uh, science packs we are using and how much we can counteract in, in producing and I think we are almost there with the uh, uh, with the uh, setup that we have, just improving the existing things. And once we have that in a state that is as good as it gets, because it's all limited uh, from input side, uh, then we basically can continue uh, and scale horizontally. Uh, meaning we just plop down more factories producing the same size. But then we have basically the perfect blueprint uh, to build upon. 
All right, that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time for more Factory. Until then, goodbye.